Now, um, let's see who we can thank for this. We're looking right now at the list for, oh, this is a Payton pick. Payton. Payton picked this. Man, I am happy. This is old school. We got the wooden walls back. We're pissing Chuck off with music. This he even is, said I'm getting, either going to really like it or hate it. We're getting back to the roots. We're finding ourselves again. Apparently, Chuck is a cop. This is the roots of my life. <laughs> It's not good. All right, let's get in. My life. My life is just like a car crash. So slow down and girls when you go past on me by my world. Can never stop spinning. I got a girl there is sitting there. And big ones and small ones, different colors and countries, I love them all the same. She wakes up when I make up, we don't break up, we just make up. We slept all day cause we fucked all night. But we roll and we ride like I lost tonight. There's no tomorrow, no ending inside. Well in my head, that's where I make my bed. And tonight I'm in the delta, in the heart of Mississippi. Sometimes I roam far from my own. I left New York, I suitcase in my hand, I had nowhere to go, I had no certain plans. When she walked into the room and I felt like I knew her from another lifetime I live. Across the ocean to a foreign land, if you've been where I've been, then you understand my life. It's just like a car crash, so slow down, girls, when you go past, so me by my world. Never stop spinning, I got a girl that was sitting there all over my name. I met a girl, no. Oh, yeah, she said, Tim, I'm gonna show you a good time. And she took me up the stairs, took off her shirt, pulled up her skirt. Yeah, laid on the bed and said, come over here. I love her breasts and I love her thighs and I love her smile and her deep brown eyes. Well, the first day of spring, good luck will bring me fortune as I travel on my way. Half three way and off then. Mm, 
<laughs> so I seen a comment. Comment. Okay. Punk Mambo number five. I couldn't agree more. That is exactly where my mind went when he started listing off names. Really? And okay. Quite frankly, can I just stick with the uh, Mambo number five? <laughs> I don't need a made punk. <sighs> Not by these two, at least. No, yeah. Uh, this was. This was. There was a lot of cringe in there too. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I go places and I take girls home. That's all I'm going to sing about this entire song, and, and I'm going to act like I'm cool. And then um, let's throw in uh, the history he has with uh, the Stillers lead singer. Like he met her as a 30 year old guy, and she was 16. Oh. And then they got married and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's a little weird, you know. Okay. I don't want to hear about your. Yeah. That's the last mm. thing I want to hear about. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like in music and, in general, and that vocals. If I'm going, if I want to listen to that, I mean, I get it. There's a, pl- it's part of life, right? Yeah. So it is what it is. But it's like, not, not, not through that vocal lens. Oof. You, you have terrible vocals, and then you <laughs> toss that in there. It's it was bad here. Crazy. It was bad here. I will give you that. I, I it made my soul cringe a little bit. I have tried and tried and tried again to sugarcoat how I feel about Tim Armstrong's voice, mm-hmm. and I'm over it. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> You're like, please stop making me listen to this man. I could think of the perfect shirt to wear. You know, I love Rancid, but. <laughs> is, it uh, a, is it a size too small, too? Please, yeah. The best part. <laughs> yeah. There's no bigger fuck you, bud, right there. That <laughs> no, was, that's it's fantastic. fantastic. It's awesome. Um All right. Well, shout out to Peyton for this one, but. Oh, we got to rate this oh, one Oh, God. Still. Yeah. You're not going to like the rating here. All right, you go first because everybody knows what to expect from me. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 3.2, no playlist. This was rough to listen to. Um, there were some folk aspects that I really enjoyed about the song, Agreed. which were uh, ruined by the vocals, honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, I just, I feel like I would rather listen to the drop kicks or um, the flogging Molly if I want something folk like this. Yeah. And the vocals just didn't f- full, like, fully feel lined up with the song itself. Yeah. Give me some Greg Graffin vocals with this, and it's in a playlist, no problem. Well, duh. <laughs> His vocals are heavenly. All right. Um, Tim's are a little more rumbly. Yeah. I mean, in general, Lars are too, but yeah. not as bad as, you know. So I am sitting at a 2.1. Okay. Definitely not going in a playlist. Uh, definite positives with the, I like the folksy vibe. I love, The instrumental was really nice. Just super simple and just flows really well on the back there. There are positives to this song. But none of them have to do with the lyrics or the vocals. Yeah. Which are my two favorite things in music. Yep, 100%. That's why the vocals were rough here, and then the lyrics were really cringy at times. Yep. Spe- especially the one part where he's talking about women. So, that was the majority of the song, which is the worst not, part. It didn't sound good, man. I know. I know. And as Susie started to listen to the names, like, oh, I gagged. <laughs> it was just disgusted me. It was a little rough. It was a little uh, rough. Shout out to Peyton for making us uh, endure this one. Yeah. I, I saw I, he loves it. So, I mean, as long as someone likes, I guess. Absolutely. Team boys. <laughs> <laughs> 